So here is another issue that has been has been a problem for many decentral lenders until now, especially the ones who are not technical enough to use the SDK. This is mostly for people who are using the builder, people like me. A lot of the times we have tried to figure out how to stream video inside the Decentraland scene and we actually do have an object in... Where is that object? It's uh, it's in the toolbox. There is a new object here at the bottom, it's called video stream. Well, it's not that new, but it has been eventually introduced because people were asking for a possibility to video stream. And now we do have that object. The problem is that when you want to set it up, you do have to provide a, um, a URL where you can host your video. And for the most part, you cannot just paste a YouTube or a Vimeo URL in there. You can also not just use a, your website URL where you have uploaded the video to your, to your hosting solution because the, there is a specific setting that needs to be in place that manages um, the permissions of sharing the video across different domain names. And if you don't have that setting set up right, it's not going to show the video inside your scene. And now the thing is, I've not been able to overcome this problem until now. And uh, the other day I found a post inside the Discord where there is suddenly a solution available. Actually, you can host your videos on a service called IPFS.io. It's free of charge, it seems. It's, um, I will leave you guys a link in the description below with this documentation. I managed to install a node of this IPFS solution within less than five minutes. Um, it's just very easy to follow. Anyone can install this node. And you will have a little app like that where you can upload your files. And then you can use that URL, which is just a copy and paste um, operation. You can use that URL inside your inside your video stream object. And then when you position it wherever you want it, it actually works for the most part. I had some difficulties getting it to work with larger video files. I think there is some kind of limitation, some kind of instability. And I'm not sure if this is related to Decentraland or if this is an IPFS thing, but over time it started to work for me and I'm looking forward to see if it's gonna be more stable tomorrow. And I've had some issues showing it to other people who were with me on the scene. They wouldn't see the same thing as I did. But again, this could be a decentral land issue of some sort. Um, but generally speaking, it works. There is no course issue. It does show the video properly. And I'm going to show you how this looks. I'm going to quickly republish the scene here. And I'm going to reload it. I have finally been able to uh, to show off a logo and a call to action is inside the scene like I wanted to do for a long time but I couldn't host the video anywhere without creating some kind of dependency on a developer or on someone helping me out with some with their hosting solution but now with this IPFS which is a highly interesting distributed hosting solution I heard of but I never r read on and um, let me show you. Let's quickly switch over to day mode. So this is the video, guys. I've just created a little animation that I'm using for YouTube videos. And I have duplicated several times because this video cannot be looped inside that object. So I just recreated this tiny little um, animation again and again and again over like 15 minutes or so. It created quite a large 27 megabyte file um, and I had issues getting it to work, but over time it started to show up. But only one loop works right from the get-go. So we'll have to figure out if this is a solution or not, but finally the course issue is gone and it's actually very high quality, much better than the NFT solution where the quality was just suboptimal, but this works great, right? So I don't know, guys, if you are curious about this IPFS solution, I will leave you that link below. And this is where you can download um, the node software. And yeah, we'll, you will find everything on here. All right, guys, I hope this was useful. Please do subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment if this was useful or not, if this solved the problem for you, and if this actually worked for you. I'm really curious to know. All right.
Take it easy. Bye.